Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Sun Shower by Chris Cornell, and this was released in 1997 off of the Great Expectations movie soundtrack. It's a really fun song to play. It's a great piece of songwriting. has some awesome chords and progressions in it. And we're going to do the solo acoustic guitar version, just like Chris would play live. So the tuning we're going to use is drop D tuning. So it's it's basically standard tuning except the low E string. You drop it down a whole step and it's a D. So you have D, A, D, G, B, and E. And if you're having trouble changing some of the chords in time, I could really help you with that. Uh, click on that link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you my uh, chord playing and changing technique guide. It's a killer video lesson, extended play. It's not on YouTube. I'll give you my essential chord changing tips, but the lesson is also packed with exercises and it'll really get your chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. I'll pair it with an ebook too, which has more chord charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. It's a fabulous one two punch. Video lesson and ebook. Send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the song starts off with this little intro progression, which is also the third line of the verse. So you'll see that again when we get to the verses. But let me play you the intro for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. It'll sound like this. Into verse 1. The progression for that is basically you're going to play a D major, and then if you take off your second finger, that's a D sus2, I'll get to the strum pattern in a minute, and then if you move your first finger to the second fret of the A string, and leave your third finger down, that's important, you're going to be leaving that down on that D note, third fret B string for a lot of these chords, okay, that's a G6 over B chord, G6 slash B. And then you're going to grab the two low strings with your second finger, okay, as well as when you, you keep that third finger down. And that's an F6 over 9 chord. And then grab your two uh, low strings with the first finger, and that's an E7th chord, again, all while leaving this third finger down. So you get D, e, E sus2, G6th over B, F6, 9, E7. Then with your first finger, grab the first fret on the A string. That's a B flat note. You're going to be playing this chord here. Again, leaving the third finger down and all the other strings are open. Uh, that's a B flat 6 with a sharp 11. And then first finger bar on the D, G, and B. That's just an A major chord with an open A string. And then you make it an A sus4 by grabbing uh, with your third finger, or you could use your second finger on that D note on the uh, B string, third fret. You can also do the A chord like this with three fingers, and then grab the sus4 with your pinky. Okay, those are all chords that are gonna appear throughout the verses of the song. All right, so that's the progression. What he's doing uh, when he's picking the notes is he's playing it like this. You play your D chord, then take that second finger off, and hit two of the high E strings. Then come up, hit the B string, which you're catching that third fret. So you get this so far. Then take your first finger off and do a hammer on, open G to that second fret, to that A note on the G string. So you get this so far. And then the last one, go back to that third fret, that D note on the B string. So slow. Then you're gonna get that G over uh, G sixth over B, but you're gonna do a down, up, down, up strum. Then you go with that second finger on the third fret, those two low strings on the third fret of the low E and the A, and that's at F69, and the strum there is down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Slow so far. Now that E7, that E7, down, up, down, that's all it is there. And then you go to that um, B flat 6 sharp 11, and you're going to do the same strum like you did on that F6 uh, chord, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then go to the A chord, 
down, up, down, up, and then add your uh, to the sus4. I use my third finger on that uh, D note on the third fret of the B string. So on the A, down, up, down, up, then sus4, down, up, down, up, down, down. Up. That goes right into the first verse, which is dark as roses, fine as sand. So there's three verses in the song. The first verse is just one chord shorter. The second and third verse, at the end of it, you add a B minor chord as that goes into the chorus. But the first verse, there's no B minor chord. I'll show you, I'll write it all out for you because it goes verse one, dark as roses, fine as sand. You go through the whole verse and it goes right into verse two, crawl like ivy up my spine. Then you play the uh, a little longer verse with that one extra chord because that goes into the chorus when you're all in pain and you feel the rain come down. I'll tell you what, let me play verse one for you. It'll sound like this. Play the whole thing. Okay, you probably heard that third time I did the progression. That's the same pretty much as the intro. Very similar, right? So you know a lot of this already. So for the verses, think of it in is basically three progressions or three lines of the verse. The first line, uh, dark as roses, fine as sand, D to D sus two. Then you're gonna play a C9 chord, very easy. Just leave your third finger down, take your first finger up, and add your second finger to the third fret of the A string. And you have your C9 chord. Okay, that's the first one. And I'll go over the strum pattern in a minute. And the second line, now feel your healing and your sting again. D to D sus2 again, but this time grab that G6 over B like we did in the intro and then walk that back a half step to the B flat 6 sharp 11. That'll sound like this. And the last line, which is like I explained for the intro, uh, here you're laughing and my soul is saved on forgotten graves you cry. D, D sus2, G6 over B, then that F6-9, E7, B flat 6 sharp 11, A, A sus4. All right, and that'll sound like this. goes right from there into verse 2. Okay, so let's go over the strum pattern and you'll have the verses down. So, on the D chord, down, up, down, up. And then take off that second finger making it a D sus 2. Down, up, down, up, down, down. So those two together. Okay, then go to that C9 chord. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. And all these strums are going to appear throughout the song. And then you repeat the first two again. D, D sus2. Now, G6 over B, down, up, down, up, kind of like we did before. And then go to that B uh, flat 6 sharp 11, down, up, down, up, down, down. It's kind of the same strums again. Here's first two so far, slow. And then the rest of the chords you do like we did in the intro. Uh, hear you laughing as my soul is saved on forgotten graves you cry. Down, up, down, up, down, D sus2, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then G6 over B, down, up, down, up, F6, 9, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. E7, down, up, down, B flat 6 sharp 11, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. To that A, down, up, down, up, A sus4, down, up, down, up, down, down. That's pretty much verse 
1, 2, and 3. Now verse 2 and 3, the only difference is after that A sus 4 chord, you play a B minor chord because we have to lead into the chorus. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So from the A, A sus 4 to the B minor, so this would be like verse 2 and verse 3. And that's what he says on that B minor, but it's all right. And that goes right into the chorus, when you're all in pain, to that big D chord. And I have a lot of other Chris Cornell solo acoustic uh, song lessons here on the channel. I'll put some in the cards, but be sure to check those out. I have Soundgarden lessons too, so there's a lot of great stuff. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that subscription bell, right? It really helps us to keep bringing the content, and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. And if you like the video, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So now you know all three verses, now we have to tackle the chorus. The chorus, lyrically, is when you're all in pain and you feel the rain come down, it's all right. And then it's uh, the same uh, chords after that again. When you find your way, then you see it disappear. It's all right. Uh, though your garden's gray, I know all your graces. One day will flower. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Sweet sun shower. That's when it changes. And he plays the chorus the same every time. All right. And remember, it's verse one, verse two. Verse two, you put the B minor chord in right into the chorus. Let me play the chorus for you. It'll sound like this. sun shower and then it goes into into those high chords up there right okay so let's tackle the chorus here are the chords think of it as two different lines of progression D then you're gonna play an F sharp minor now you could play it a couple different ways the way he plays it when he plays it live is he plays the low three strings with three fingers second third and fourth finger on the fourth fret and then he grabs with the first finger the high three strings. All right, that's a little tough to finger. What you can do, if you don't want to do it that way, is, and I'll do it this way, is play like a regular F sharp minor chord, but don't play the low E string, because remember, the low E is now D. So that's going to sound really bad, right? So if you just play it from the A string, it works and it sounds fine. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and then the third chord is your B minor chord. Then you're going to do a B minor over A, so just take your first finger off. And that's a B minor chord, but you're not using the first finger, you're just playing that open A string. B minor over A. Then you're going to play an E major, but don't play the low E string. Okay? Uh, play it from the A string down. And then an E sus 4, add your pinky to that G string. Again, at that same second fret. So you get E, E sus 4, and then E. Alright, so that's... The, the first measure, it's kind of like when you're all in pain, is the D, and you feel, feel, F sharp minor, the rain come down, B minor, B minor over A, it's all right, E, E sus 4, E. All right, then you do the same thing again, you do that twice. When you find, find is D, your way, then you see, F sharp minor, it disappear, B minor, B minor over A, it's all right, right? E, E sus 4, E. Now your third line, it changes. Though your garden, D, garden's gray, I know all on all F sharp minor again. All your graces, G, that one finger bar, third fret, um, fifth fret, low E, A, and D. You could add your pinky if you want to on the G string at the seventh fret. Uh, so that's one day, um, will flower, then just slide that up to the eighth fret, low three string, and that's B flat chord, low three strings again, and just kind of hit that once, and then just back that up a half a step, A chord, because remember the low, your low E string is in D, 
You hit it once on that fifth fret low three strings. No, 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 sweet sun shower. It goes for that part, which we'll get to. All right, th that's the progression. Uh, and you see it all written out. And uh, let me show you the strum pattern we're going to use. It's, it's easier this time because it's a, a, a lot of the same pattern. So on the D, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. We used that pattern before, right? F sharp minor, same pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Now, B minor, down, up, down, up. Then take your first finger off, B minor over A. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. E, down, up, down, up. E sus4, down, up, down, up. E sus4, and then E. Down, up, down, up. All right, though that first line, which he does twice slow, will sound like this. All right, and you do that twice, and then the third time, though your garden's gray, it starts off the same with that D chord, same strum, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I know all your graces, same strum, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, go to that G, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, slide to that eighth fret, one down stroke, B flat, one down stroke on the A, fifth fret, uh, I'm sorry, seventh fret, and that's the whole chorus. All right, so we're getting through it. So song structure wise, you do the intro into verse one into verse, straight into verse two. At the end of verse two, you put the B minor chord into your chorus. Now, after the first chorus, and you end on that no, 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 he plays this up top. All right, so what that is, is basically if you take your D chord down here, and you slide it all the way up to the 15th fret. Okay, so basically open D string, and then your first finger's on the 14th fret, second finger 15th fret, third finger 14th fret. So uh, 14, 15, 14. And then just take off your second finger so you play 14, 15, and open high E string. And then take off your first finger. So you have open, open, 15, open. So you get these three chords first. Then leave your third finger down and just back it up one string to the 14th fret. And you hit that with open D, open G, 14th, and open. Then slide that to the 12th fret, same thing, top four strings. It's the top four strings for this whole string of chords. So open, open, 12th fret, open, and then slide it to the 10th fret. Open, open, 10th fret, open. So you get this slow. All right, and he does that four times. So I play it like just strumming once, the first two times. And then to make it a little more interesting, I do this the third and fourth time. So how I do that uh, strumming wise, the first chord two downs, second chord two ups, third chord two downs, next chord two ups, and then one down, one down. So it's like this. Okay, and he does that progression a couple times in the song. Same thing, four times later, I'll do it four times again, and then to end the song, he just does it one time. And that's the little interlude in the song. So right after the interlude, you let that ring, and then you go back to a D chord, because it starts the third verse. And the third verse is, uh, eyes like ocean so far away, a feather trail to a better way. And the third verse, the same exact thing as the second verse, where you end it on that B minor chord, it's all right, and then you get right into the chorus, uh, which is the second time in the chorus 
when you're all in pain and you feel the rain come. I'll tell you what, I'm going to play the last part of the third verse and I'm going to add the B minor on so you can hear this change into the chorus. It'll sound like this if I take it from the A to the A sus4. So you see how you can really easily connect those by adding that B minor chord to connect the verses to the choruses. All right, so you add the interlude into verse three, eyes like ocean so far away, into the chorus again. And then after the chorus, oh yeah, yeah, and a sweet sun shower, guess what? You're gonna play those, that little interlude, those little chords up high, and you do that four times again. And then after you do the chords up high again for the second time, it goes into the outro of the song. And he does like this cool extended jam. And this is probably the trickiest part of the whole song. So let's take it in a couple sections. The first thing is he plays these, he does these octaves. So let me play the octave part first. And then there's this long chord progression second. So let's do the octaves first. I'll play it, it'll sound like this. goes into the progression. Okay, so the octaves he plays three times the first time. Um, so it's like this. So what you're doing is you're striking that open D and then the octave you're going to play first is third, you're going to do C octaves, third fret on the A string and then fifth fret on the G string. And you let that first finger spill over to mute out the string in the middle, the D string. You just want to hear this note and this note. So you get this. So I'm hitting three strings, but the second one's muted. And then you put on top of that the low D and you get this. Right? So that's C octaves. And then the next one, you slide that up to the fifth fret. Same exact technique where you're just hearing this note, D, and the higher D. And the, the middle string is muted. And that's your D octaves. So that's at the fifth fret. Then you slide that to the seventh fret which is our e, octave, e octaves, and then to the ninth fret, which is our F sharp octaves, right? So here it is slow. All right, and that's all that part is. But notice I'm, I'm hitting one, two, three, four strings, but you're only hearing three of them, because that one's muted. And I'm sliding. And then what he's doing is he's bending on that F sharp octave, he's bending those two strings. It's a little tricky to get. Does it again. Then the third time, he starts singing, I know all of your graces. Now when he goes, to I know all of your, uh, I know, on uh, no is when you change. That's how you know, because he changes on no. That's how you know when to make that change, and you start playing this interesting chord progression. All right, and the chord progression is gonna be this long descending string of chords. It's a little tricky to finger. It's gonna take you a little practice, but you'll get it. I'm gonna play that progression for you so you could hear it first. So it'll sound like this. I'll play the octaves into it. So notice after the progression he goes back into the octaves, but he only does the octave run one time the second time through, not three times. All right, so the progression, right, when you get down to that F sharp, then just all you do is you leave the octave, leave these two fingers, and then just add that second finger to the uh, tenth fret of that D string, that low E tune to D. I'm kind of muting that D string. Kind of using the same strum pattern for all the chords. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All 
right? So first chord. Now the next chord, just switch your first finger, move up one string, and your second finger, move down one string. Leave your third finger down for a bunch of these. There's your second chord. Now your third chord, you're going to leave these two fingers down, and you're going to move the first finger down a half a step. So your first finger is down to that uh, eighth fret. Okay? So you're going from here, switch, there, half step down. Okay, so you kind of get this movement. Okay? So together. Now the next chord, ninth fret first finger bar on the low three strings and add your third finger or your pinky. Pinky would probably even be better uh, to that 11th fret on the uh, G string. Because the next chord you're going to go down. Again, same strum pattern. And then the next chord is at the 6th uh, fret. You're going to play 6th fret, low D string. Mute the A string by letting that first finger fall over. Open D. And then with your pinky, because you leave that pinky down, is at the ninth fret. So the first set of chords right after your octaves, I know your graces one day on one you change, will flower one, again on the one you change, will flower in a sweet, on sweet you change. Right, same strum pattern, and just get down. Then the next chord, you do like you did here at the ninth fret, but you're playing the low three strings at the fifth fret, and your pinky is on that G string at the seventh fret. Last two strums, so do the same pattern. The last two hits that down up, just move that first finger down a half stretch two hits and then slide the whole chord down to the third fret. So you have the low three strings with the first finger and again the pinky grabs that G string at uh, this time at the fifth fret. And you do the same thing where you save those last two hits to move down this time you're gonna play this chord which is second fret on that low D string, third fret on the A, mute the D string, and your pinky again is staying on that G string on the fifth fret. I know that's kind of tricky that part, and the fingering might be a little weird for you, but you'll get it. Just take you a little bit of time. I'll try to play it slow. It's kind of hard to play it really slow, but I'll take it from the octaves and into that progression. Notice after you finish with that last chord, you go back to the octaves. And you only do the octaves one time this time, and then you go back to the progression. And you do the same progression again. Okay, there's only one more part of the song, you're almost there, I know it's a lot. And so you do that progression all the way descending down, and then this time when you get to that last chord, right, you're going to play this. plays that twice. So from that last chord, you just go B minor to C major. Then you play that fifth fret again, the low three strings, and you can add your pinky, just like we did earlier, and then slide that down to the third fret. Same thing, so you're kind of playing that G to that F. All right, and the strum pattern I'm using for all of them there is um, we're using that down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down.
again, he does that progression two times. So after you do that progression two times, and you're ending on that F, you go back to your octave. Into the progression one last time. And this time, he starts, as he's descending that progression down, he starts slowing it down a little bit, right? So you kind of get that. And then he ends it on that last chord with the F sharp there. And then he just plays this. He plays back to the high chord. And then I like to end it on that that's it. I hope you enjoyed that song lesson. Really fun song to play. Really well written piece of music. Um, enjoy it. Have fun with it. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. It really helps us to keep bringing the content. Ring that subscription bell. You'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box. Get my free video lesson and ebook on essential chord playing and changing techniques. It's an awesome video lesson and ebook. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. It'll really help you along in your guitar journey. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. And if you want to check out some of my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. It's a slamming record. I'm really stoked about it. Would love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to that also in the YouTube description box below. Check it out and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions on the songs or the gear I use or the studio recordings, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this lesson. Thanks so much for your support over the years. So appreciated. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them, right? And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. I'll see you in the next lesson.